So, derived categories and motives both have a certain moral similarity, if you will, between them. Both of them are designed in some sense um, to go between geometric objects and things like cohomologies. Um, so, that is to say, you can uh, stick in a variety and produce from it um, some sort of a motive. Of course, the category of motives is a conjectural thing, but let's just pretend. And then from the motive, you can compute some sort of cohomology, maybe a Duram or Aladic or whatever uh, you might be looking at. Um, similarly, uh, if somebody gives you a variety x, um, uh, you can um, construct its derived category. Um, and if you are given a sheaf on x, you can consider the corresponding object in the derived category. And things like the sheaf cohomology, for example, Or if you have pairs of, um, of coherent sheaves, you can look at X or Tor groups between them, and these only depend on the object in the middle in the derived category. Um, also, the derived category sits in between the variety X and its K theory. And so you can kind of think about in these ways both the motive and the derived category as some sort of like in-between objects, between these geometric things, varieties and sheaves, and these um, measurements that you take on them, these kind of cohomological type measurements. So um, what we would like to do is try to see if there is a, maybe a deeper relationship between um, motives and derived categories. And, you know, of course, we won't really answer this, but I'll just um, point to some open questions and conjectures. Um, let's think about this all, a little bit by analogy. So, the, um, you can think about the derived category as a sort of an enhancement of the K-theory of variety. So the derived category determines the K-theory and contains a much richer kind of information, but it's kind of K-like information. The motives um, determine the Chow groups and are, um, uh, you can think of it as sort of an enrichment of the, of the Chow groups. I mean, it's a much richer thing, um, but it has a Chow-like flavor also. And so um, if you want to understand maybe what the relationship should be up here, then it's natural to consider what's the relationship between these two objects. And here, there is a kind of a relationship which is given by the uh, churn characters, or the churn character, and the riemann rock theorem. And so, what uh, it's, it's kind of natural to ask, like, um, does this relationship kind of get souped up to a relationship between the derived categories and, um, and, and motives um, for, for varieties? And, um, and, you know, to what extent can we push this? So, um, what I'd like to do now, then, is um, kind of define these objects, uh, kind of a quick and dirty uh, introduction slash series of definitions for derived categories and motives. I'll talk a little bit about the relationship between the K theory and the Chow groups, and then we'll kind of um, speculate a little bit on how those might be generalized.